coach Earl Watson of the Phoenix Suns. How are you doing? No, well, how are you doing? Doing good. One thing that I hear from people in Arizona is that when you speak, you're so inspirational. Have you ever thought of like being a, a speaker or just doing that even after this career? Because you are just such a good speaker. You sound like a pastor, to be honest. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, it's funny, like my entire life, I was really shy in school. I never spoke. Wow. So whenever I had to speak in front of class, I would get really nervous. Mm -hmm. And somehow, going through UCLA, being around different type of people, different cultures, different ethnicities, opened me up to a lot of different knowledge, and I just want to share it. Um, I don't really take anything with it. To me, I just do what I do and just speak from the heart. Yeah. Well, everybody loves it. Are you guys making the rookies do anything crazy tonight? I'm excited for the rookies this year because the last few years, kind of just let them off the hook this year. We got a real choreographed thing in this year and it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I think that you guys are having an awesome year because you guys only lose by very, like a couple of points some of those games, which is probably so frustrating. Like how do you guys push past that? Cause it's like, we could have got it. Exactly, you know? you know, when you lose by a lot, you'd be like, all right, we suck, you kind of, all right. But when we lose by a little bit, it's so frustrating because you want to win and we're oh, so close. Yeah. So we just got to keep working and, you know, just try to get over the hump. Yes, yeah, very true. How's Coach Earl just been like such a big inspiration to you guys? Like, he inspires me and I'm not even on team because yeah, he just, he's awesome. Just teaching us, you know, uh, the ins and outs of the game and, you know, being somebody that, that played for such a long time and uh, yeah. he was able to learn from so many different people. You know, he gives us that knowledge. Gives us that wisdom and uh, you know, it tries to help our young guys and even our older guys at times as well. Who, who is the best dress on the team that you think? I so say tonight, you. It might be me. <laughs> so I, you know. Hey, you know. I you, don't know about the other day. You, you gotta show up. You gotta show up. And how excited are you to just have like a night off to just chill with your teammates, just breathe? <laughs> yeah, it's a good atmosphere. Everybody looks nice and I'm um, excited to and tonight holds in store. How's it feel to just be with your teammates and just celebrate each other tonight? It feels great, you know. Uh, we all know that how important it is, you know, to giving back to the community. Yes. Um, this is the biggest event that the Suns. Uh, do on the whole year. This is my fifth time being to this program, so I'm very excited and happy to be here involved and, and giving back to the community. Before you made it to the NBA, like who was the player that you were like, man, I have, that's my guy. Like I love this player out of everyone's in the NBA, like as a vet. Like who's my favorite player? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite player has been Rudy Gay since I was younger. He's so funny. Have you met him? No, I, ha I haven't had the chance to meet him yet. <laughs> He's awesome, he's awesome, yes. And how did you, you know, did you guys pray through this? Cause I know that you were out for a little bit and yeah. you're just like, okay, God, where do you want me to be? Was it one of those things? Absolutely, yeah. God is amazing, so faithful. Um, and you know, his plan is always the right plan. Uh, so it's amazing how he works and how he navigates things. And um, it, it all makes sense, you know, and I'm just, yeah. I'm just grateful and thankful. And I uh, just you know, want to make the best of this opportunity and hopefully, uh, you know, stick around a little bit longer. Why not? More than 10 days. Right. <laughs> um, do they try to hound you guys with crazy rookie duties <laughs> during the weeks and like before games and stuff? I mean, not really, you know, I'm, during the season in the NBA, you know, obviously as a rookie, you have to come in before, you know, do, do your job, you know, yeah. trying to be better every day. And, uh, you know, but that, that's just, you know, usual thing for, you know, first couple of years in the league. How have you been as a veteran to like just help them stay positive and just keep everybody's spirits up? Well, overall, I think with a young team, the best thing is, is about uh, building good habits. Yeah. So even when you're losing uh, or winning, the habits you'd have every day in practice, weight room, on the bus, on the plane, forms you to eventually set the foundation for winning or wrong. So for us, it's not getting in bad habits. Losing teams, play bad basketball, yeah. uh, ball hog. Uh, complain why we're not playing. So overall, what I try to do is just be a pro, show them how to uh, how to conduct themselves on and off the floor, and overall throughout the season it carries through and they and they pick up on that. How exciting is it for you to play on the Suns with just the impact that your parents literally have had just in the community? I mean, it's got to be exciting, you know, to be on this team. I think exciting is an understatement. It's it's a great opportunity for a hometown kid to live out his hometown dream yeah. and so it's it's always great to be out there on that court and, and putting on that Suns jersey it's still surreal to me every time I step into the locker room <laughs> or step on the court it's, it's crazy so it's 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 you know it's a stream blessing that that I'm able to do it in the city that I grew up in. so a couple weeks ago we were interviewing LeBron another star player gave you high praise he complimented hey, Devin Booker another one of the skills of camping guys any memories of him at a young age just tell him. Great time, and uh, obviously went to a prestige 
kids uh, from school in Kentucky. This opportunity is going to be in the league. It's going to be better. So uh, we definitely got to have our, our antennas up. You said you're amazing. How does that make you feel? Is this, as your career keeps going, it's like Kobe, LeBron, all these people are just like, this is the kid to watch. This is the person to watch. Like, I mean, earning respect from those type of guys, you know, it means I'm on the right path. Um, still have a lot of work to do, obviously, and that's what I'm doing. But, you know, hearing their praise from guys of that caliber that I used to look up to as a kid, um, you know, it's unbelievable. It's hard to put into words, but it makes me want to work that much more. Oh, very true. We were very excited when he's talking about you, too. We're like, yes! <laughs> Liz really interviewed everybody on the team, pretty much. We are so excited to be here and to see Ronnie Price, who just made the team. And it's just going to be a great season and talking to Coach Girls. So make sure that you check out all the videos.